What's up, Virgo? Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do your reading now. We're going to keep these readings a little bit shorter. Uh, I had to take your guys' reading down that I put up a few days ago. That was a pretty crazy reading. Um, but uh, make no mistake, that reading was definitely someone's out there. Uh, it was actually a few people's reading. So the message got out, and I'm going to do another reading for you guys now and see what comes up. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into this. All right, what do we have for Virgo? King of Swords. Okay, Virgo, I feel like you guys are in the process of doing some sort of cutting out Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like this. You guys are just really starting to see now that this thing that you've been involved in has been a complete illusion. And it's been like orchestrated by one particular trickster. Emperor, Aries Energy. I feel like this guy, Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's something happening, happening divinely here, Virgo. I feel that um, this situation has been going on for a long, long time, like years. Uh, let's keep going here. But now it's like something is happening, and it's probably astrology that's happening where this is done. Like, this person is just... I just heard in my head... The criminal that time forgot. This motherfucker has done... Oh, God. This... I'm sorry, guys. I can't... I, this is just how it comes through. Okay? But this person right here... It's like... Somehow... He's been slipping through the cracks. Uh, is that a pentacle in his hand? Right there? Maybe that's why he's been slipping through the cracks. Okay, devil, Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Could have Capricorn in their chart. Uh, could have Aries in their chart. We got air on the table. We got Pisces. I'm feeling mostly like a, like a, a Capricorn Aries energy. And I feel like, Virgo, you're coming up as King of Swords. But this could all be reversed, of course. Three of Cups. See, this is what was coming up kind of in the other one. There's this energy of like... See, now there's like uh, another... I feel like this is one couple and then there's another couple, some sort of involvement. The moon. It's like there's stuff that's been below the surface is coming up now. Like the involvement that this emperor and... This other party, you know, the other party could be the Capricorn. See, this is what was the other reading. The, the devil was the Capricorn energy, which was the other party. Then there was the emperor. Oh, and I think he was the king of wands in the other reading. Okay, let's just keep going here. I want to try and keep this reading short for you guys. Wow, that just flew out. Two cups in reverse. Yeah, you're done, Virgo. This is over. Okay. King of Cups. Yeah. Okay, so... So Scorpio energy. So we got Cancer there. Scorpio energy. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Yeah, so this person here, you're seeing now how this actually, if you stay in this situation, this is going to have a dramatic, a dramatic effect on um, your future moving forward. This can actually affect your business. Wow, I just got Death Card, Scorpio Energy, and Ten of Pentacles. And, oh, wow. And then Five of Cups. So yeah, Virgo, you have to get away from this, or you are, because you're seeing now how this person that you're dealing with is just going to completely ruin your life. Like, this person will mark you. Um, something that he's involved with, with this couple over here, the Capricorn energy, devil energy, he's gotten in over his head. Or maybe this has just gone on for so long, and it's just all like... Like, I'm kind of getting this energy from the King of Swords. Like, how did I not see this? I feel so stupid. Like, I feel like people are, are, are probably giving you a hard time over this, Virgo. Like, like why? Why did you enable this? The Hierophant.
I just heard, so here on Taurus energy, spirit, I just heard Virgo was meant to teach them the lesson. Yeah, Virgo, there's something about you. You are like, uh, there's definitely like a, a very angelic, peaceful, like, um, there's just a, it's like a, another whole polarity to this person, which I don't know how you ended up with this person. Um, but the point here is, I think because you actually hold that, uh, angelic polarity and maybe you don't even know that it's like you have this protection right so now this narcissist you've been dealing with is about to get a serious serious ass kicking um, and a lot of these narcissists they don't get this sort of um, backlash from their behavior until like they're middle-aged so I'm getting like I don't know late 30s mid 40s here possibly for this emperor but that doesn't really matter. Okay, one more card. Yeah, two of swords, three of wands. So Virgo, it's like you know. It's like you know what you have to do. Um, oh my God, hangman, yeah. And Ten of Wands, okay. Ten of Wands and the Star. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. I think this really just... Uh, I think you guys should be able to get what's going on here, okay? So you see what you need to do, Virgo. I mean, we got the Hangman, Two of Swords. It's like you've got to make this decision. And it's a huge burden. But I feel like this is where it ends up, okay? In the Star... Aquarius energy like this is where it will wind up. This is where it's meant to be. This is where you're supposed to be That's your god-given right is to get back into this energy or to get into this energy and away from this But this is just all a part of your path. You had to do this Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this gives you guys some sort of clarity and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you